Welcome to Sofia, Bulgaria. To Sofia, gotta find a way to waste two hours, and we're gonna go find lunch. I'm currently just waiting to check into my accommodations because I arrived too early. I arrived around one o'clock by the time I got out of the airport. I just had a really nice coffee at the Black Label Coffee House, really close to this little church. And now I'm just sitting in a church listening to a podcast, just trying to chill out, honestly. And then once I drop my bags off, I will go explore Sofia, Bulgaria. So far, I'm just really reminded of like Eastern Europe and Belgrade vibes. But it's so nice to see everyone out and walking and the weather's really nice. It's kind of muggy, cloudy. So I got my sunglasses on. So far, so good. Just chilling here with my, my suitcase and my bag and my backpack. The backpack's so heavy. So we're just waiting. apartment building and I know I have to carry it up to the fifth floor so if you're wondering what my workout regime is like lately it's been running and carrying my suitcase in terms of upper body strength here we go So I've just entered the apartment that I'm staying in for two nights and this was booked with Flataway. So let's give you a little tour, shall we? As I walk in, we've got the front door behind me and then we have a little dining area, here, which is so nice. The room is so bright because we've got floor, floor to ceiling <laughs> windows, an awesome little desk space. Great to see that right onto the street, little people watching. And then we have the bedroom area, which is so lovely. They even have towels that are monogrammed, a TV, plenty of storage space. If I was staying for like a month or two months, there's plenty of storage space, there's hanging, there's even like a cable for ethernet if I wanted. Lots of plugs, which is really important, especially as a YouTuber to charge all my gear. I love that they even have down there, they have an extension cord right by the desk smart thinking and then the kitchen is so cute and i love european apartments because they have everything you need this is kind of like my dream kitchen i mean it is like inside it's different for me because it's like a room versus being open concept but that's just the north american in me and so we even have a microwave we have an oven a stove top all the cutting boards soaps and everything included we even have a fridge Everything's really nice and clean. There's even recycling here. Yeah, like I definitely think this could kind of be a humble abode for a little bit. You know, we got a couple places to sit and then we also, there's laundry included. So laundry's in here. And then also this little bathroom area is so cute. They even have, oh my gosh, they even have like shower gel. And then it's so interesting how they make the toilet and shower is one room. This is something that doesn't happen in North America a lot, but I love the concept of it because they can just take the shower rod and wash everything down, which I think is just brilliant. And I love that about Eastern Europe. So we're gonna make it our humble abode for a little bit, kind of unpack, but not a ton. And then I'm gonna go out and explore. I'm in a solo travel when it's 7 p.m. I'm starving, but the desire to go out and eat alone and find a restaurant and now it's dark out is so discouraging. 
but I know I need food. But now that this video is done, this is my motivation to get off this chair and go find food. I will walk to the restaurant I want. If I see something better on the way, then we do that. Try not to be indecisive, just get the nums in the tums. watching Maya Felix's uh, YouTube. I really enjoy Felix. Felix, a German gal in Portugal who's renovating her own land and it's really inspirational to do it solo. Buonanotte. Good morning. This is day two in Sofia. I am going to find food and then I am going on a free walking tour. And usually what free walking tours means is, yeah, they're free, but they are tip-based, which is completely understandable. <sighs> yeah, I've been slow moving, just getting ready in my little apartment, all my clothes. But now we got my backpack packed. I'm gonna bring my backpack today. Next, hopefully it won't rain because I'm not gonna bring my coat that's more waterproof. And we're just gonna get started. So join me for a day. I had such a good sleep and oh, it's so nice to be in like a private space again. After just coming, I was in Genoa before this and I was in a six person dorm and it's like so nice to have an apartment again. bathtub with water and it's warm and sulfury and I regret it so hard. I hope my stomach's gonna be okay. <laughs> I just got back from lunch from some local contacts and basically my host here while I'm here, which was so lovely and the restaurant was so good. I got this veggie steak, they called it, which I forgot to film, of course. Always the good food I forget to catch on film. But anyway, it uh, was mostly a meat option. Then they had this veggie steak, which was like this potato gratin. Is that what it's called in French? When it's like a roll of potato. And then some quinoa and spinach and mushroom and this beautiful, rich, I don't even know what it was. Anyway, I'll link the restaurant here. Surprisingly delightful. And I've been in majorly impressed with the vegan, like vegetarian scene here. I think I've been used to Montenegro is the country I've been in the most out of all the Balkans. Um, Albania has some veggie scene. Belgrade's like flexible vegetarian, but here there's a vegan scene, which is really exciting because my preference is to eat plant-based when I can. Yeah, it's just been fun to be in like a younger hipster kind of city. I do like it better than Belgrade. So sorry if you're from Belgrade and watching. I just find it a little bit 
warmer and easier to navigate. That being said, when I was in Belgrade, it was snowing, so maybe that's why. But I went on the walking tour this morning. It's the free Sofia walking tour, and they've been doing it since 2010, which is really fantastic. They are basically pro bono tours, so do keep in mind when you're doing a free walking tour to have some cash on you to tip the guide as you see fit. So I really think there's no range. My kind of dollar amount is about 10 euros. I'm a bit of a budget traveler, but I also really respect what people do for their job. So I gave them 20 20, I don't remember the currency, Lear, Lavir, Lair. I gotta work on that. The local Bulgarian currency. Um, I'm sure you could have tipped them in euros as well, but I have some cash and yeah, it was great. And then I went for lunch and I've just been back here working at my desk. Come and look at my desk. It's been so nice to have like a proper workspace. I really wish I was staying here for about a month or two longer. I just really genuinely mean I've had such a pleasant surprise here. I. I don't know what I expected. I didn't do a ton of research before I arrived, which is usually my preference to kind of come into it with an open mind and open heart and open thoughts. Um, yeah, so I think Sofia Bulgaria will be back on my list and I hope I'm pronouncing it properly and it's not, it's Sophie, Sophia instead of Sophia, Sof, Sophia instead of Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. I try to write it down. Anyway, for dinner, I might either eat the other half of my sandwich from this morning, which was so delicious, I just couldn't get it down before the walking tour, or I'll just find a quick bite to eat because getting pretty tired in the evenings <laughs> with just full days, trying to respect my body. And I have a day of buses tomorrow and then a day of flying the day after and I'm couch surfing and, and um, future vlogs to come. I just finished my evening eating my sandwich from the Rainbow Factory Cafe that I got for brunchy breakfast this morning, which was still delicious. Chef's kiss, nice focaccia. There was a really rich hummus. It was avocado. There was artichoke hearts. There was beets and like, oh, just so nice. I love Italian food previous to this, but nice to feel vegetables in my body again. And maybe I was missing some. We're gonna end the vlog here today. Thanks so much for joining me and Sophia for just such a short period of time. Sophia, I'm still working on the pronunciation. I think I have it right though and i really look forward to one day returning to the city who knows when it, it will be could be in a week could be in a month <laughs> we'll find out either way i think it's a great stop on your balkan tour and stay tuned for where i'm going to next don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button like this video and we'll see you in the next one ciao for now fam